Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Developing flexible shoulders is absolutely essential for bodyweight training, from handstands to just the humble dip. Today, I want to share with you five potent exercises, how to execute them effectively and target every single range of the shoulders. But I want to hear from you. Is your favorite shoulder stretch in here or have I perhaps missed one out? Let me know in the comments section down below. Right, let's start with the foundations, beginning with rotation and looking at internal. For this, we're looking for the sleeper stretch and we're gonna try and target that posterior shoulder capsule. Lie with the arm at about 90 degrees, bent 90 degrees, making sure that you're on top of the shoulder. We don't wanna be rolling or leaning away. Move the arm into internal rotation and then place pressure with the other hand until you reach close to your maximum range. We're looking to feel a stretch on the back of the shoulder here. This one works well with time. So we're gonna hold this for two minutes in total, applying moderate pressure with the other hand gradually dropping deeper into that stretch position. We're looking to be able to achieve 0 to 20 degrees from horizontal, but I'd recommend aiming for flat if handstands or bridge are in your goals. Some people might be able to do this exercise with ease and it's not even any bother, that's absolutely fine. You don't need this one, let's move to the next. External rotation is by far the most emphasized of the two, but we're gonna work this one actively instead of passively. Lying face down, we want to place the elbows at shoulder height. Using a couple of yoga blocks works well. With the arms out at 90 degrees, bent to 90 degrees, you want to think about driving that elbow down and lifting that hand up into external rotation. Think about flattening the shoulder blades and engaging the mid back to make this action, making a fist with the hands to contract harder. We're going to perform five lifts of 10 seconds with max effort, trying to get those hands as high as possible. If you want to take this one up a notch, I would recommend adding weight. It doesn't need to be a lot. A couple of kilos will make this significantly harder. Using that for the first two to three reps and then dropping the weight and performing body weight, looking to try and increase that range for the final two to three sets. Think of this kind of like a drop set. Next, let's pay attention to the other side of the joint and open up the chest with a dumbbell pec stretch. We're borrowing some inspiration here from just classic bodybuilding with the focus on flexibility. You're not gonna need a whole lot of weight here. I've got maybe two or three kilos. Tuck the legs up and think about tucking the tailbone so the back is flat on the bench. When we lower, think about lowering with the hands in the eye line, externally rotating so that in the bottom position, the thumb is gonna face down. Depending on the angle of the arms, this will change what fibers of the pec are stretched. If we keep the hands in the eye line, that's gonna focus mostly on the pec major. However, if we move the hands into more of a Y position overhead, that's gonna target more of the pec minor. I'd recommend playing about with these angles and finding which one feels right for you. When you do find it, you know it. We're gonna hold this one for 60 seconds in total and during that time, you're gonna think about trying to reach the hands down towards the ground, even trying to contract the mid back. Probably one of the deepest chest stretches you're gonna experience. Something that doesn't lack the flexibility that you need is today's sponsor, Squarespace. It's never been easier to create a professionally designed website tailored to you and optimized for every device to ensure a great experience for your audience. Create an online store and start selling your products. Whether that's services or custom merch, that's how I started my business seven years ago. Like training, we want to keep track. With end-to-end -end analytics, you can learn what works and build your business better. You can go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to go live, you can use this link to save yourself 10% off your first website or domain. Back to the stretches. Let's lengthen the lats and improve shoulder flexion with a hanging side cobra. We want a ring or a bar that's around head height, but make sure you have a lower support for the assisting arm. We're gonna grab hold and drop down and we want to swing the same side leg behind and across the body, lengthening out that entire lateral line. Let gravity pull the shoulder upwards and then think about pressing the hips into the curve created. To properly stretch the lats, try not to extend through the spine too much. Instead, think about trying to flatten the chest, pulling the sternum in, and maximizing that arm angle. Over a 60 second hold, we can perform contractions of the lat. Think about creating an active position, pulling the shoulder down for five to 10 seconds, and then trying to relax deeper. You can make this stretch more intense by shifting load from that assisting arm to the stretched arm until you reach a full single arm position. Finally, let's work into extension with the German hang. Progressing up to this one slowly and within your ability is absolutely essential. The first place would be to reduce the load with a standing variation. Place the rings at chest height and then simply walk out, letting the arms shift behind you, making sure the hands are supinated facing the ground. Think about pulling the shoulder blades back and together. We want to avoid rounding them because that's gonna reduce the stretch that we're getting over the pecs. 
This provides a pretty significant stretch, but we can increase the load on this position by dropping the hips down. We're gonna hold this one for 60 seconds, but try performing some contractions. Think about pulling the hands down towards the hips, actively contracting the biceps and the pec, and then try to relax and go deeper into that stretch position. Once we get more comfortable, we can think about lowering into this position from a hang. Set the rings at a height in which you can use your feet to assist in the bottom most extreme range. Eventually, we would reduce this assistance and enter a full unassisted German hang. This is a fantastic exercise to master, but you can get a lot of the benefits of improvements in flexibility without going to this extreme loaded position. So those are the five stretches. I actually think this is a really, really solid shoulder flexibility routine that covers everything. You can perform it maybe one, two, three times per week. I'd probably do between two to three sets per exercise and you're gonna see great gains. If you find one that you particularly struggle with, maybe spend a little bit more time on that one and see if you can develop it further. As always, if you found this one useful, please hit that thumbs up button. It does help to support the channel. And while you're down there, you can also hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on any more future videos. Other than that, catch you in the next one. Have a strong week.